Hello and welcome back to episode four of the Community Sanctuary Garden Vlog. I'm Tom and today we're gonna to talk about plants. Now the first plant I wanna talk about is Clematis. Now I have been away on holiday for a week. It was beautiful, it had lots of purple flowers and it was gorgeous. And today I've come back and they're all gone. I'm gutted. There's actually 300 different types of Clematis, if not more. Now it is not classed as a toxic plant, but it is inedible. And there was a clematis used many years ago by early Spanish travellers as a substitute for pepper. Now this plant is Budlia. Budlia has over 140 different species and some of them grow as high as 30 metres, which is 98 foot, can you believe it? Now they do come up in lovely long cones of purple flowers and they're very, very attractive to butterflies and that's why it's called the butterfly bush. Now it was named after this dude, uh, he was called Adam Buddle, Reverend Adam Buddle, I think it was 1730, uh, 15 years after his death, um, and he was a famous English botanist, so it was named Budlia. Now I don't know if you agree with me, this is a little bit of a sad looking plant at the moment, but I guarantee you in a couple of months that will be absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to take a walk out of the garden, and we'll just go this way here. A walk over next to this lovely copper tree it's absolutely beautiful now last week this had no leaves no foliage at all and look at it now it's absolutely amazing i'd love to put a tree house in that love to i'm going to take you a little bit closer just so you can have a quick look look at that isn't that absolutely beautiful i'm loving it anyway down here we have got wild garlic. You can tell it's wild garlic by picking the leaves and giving them a squeeze. Now, if you smell garlic, 99.9% .9 chance it is wild garlic. The leaves have got a nice subtle garlicky taste, but the flowers, oh, you've got a lovely sweet, peppery, pungent poof of, of garlicky lushness. It's really, really tasty. And look at how much I've got, loads of it. I think I'm probably gonna pick some and freeze it. Look at the flowers, do they remind you of anything? Well, when they're young, they can be mistaken for a plant called Lily of the Valley. Now, Lily of the Valley is highly toxic and can kill you. I mean, death's pretty rare, but it can kill you, especially young children. It was actually featured in Breaking Bad. Now, over here, we've got a plant which I stay away from. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, is cow's parsley, but it's a carrot family, and the carrot family can be very, very dangerous. If you get mixed up between this and hemlock, which looks very, very similar, you die. Hemlock is extremely, extremely poisonous. Uh, cow's parsley is edible. So as a rule, don't go anywhere near it. Don't use it. Look at it, it's a pretty plant, but definitely do not eat it. It's not worth the risk. Thank you very much for watching. That's the end of episode four. In future, I'm going to be doing a section at the end of the vlog on poisonous plants just for, for your curiosity. And this week is monkshood. <laughs> See ya. 
So the first deadly plant that we're going to talk about is Aconitum napellus. This is a seriously bad plant. Aconitum napellus is also known as monk's hood because of the shape of the flowers. And luckily for you, you probably won't find it grown wild in the UK. This plant is so toxic, it can kill small mammals just by its smell. I mean, that is seriously strong. Every part of the plant is toxic to humans and even a small amount is enough to kill you. It kills you by slowing your heart rate down until it stops. Game over. So if anybody sees this plant, give it a wide berth. It's nice to look at, but do not touch.